Greetings everyone, Joseph James here with, the, with your nightly newsletter brought to you by the School of Trade.com. Today was July 22nd, 2009. Guys, one of those days in the sleepy summer months of July and August where I kind of wish we would have hit the golf course instead. Uh, before we go over the results for today, we did pretty well today, made money today, but it was a very difficult day today. I uh, want to remind you guys, you've probably been to this website before, head over to YouTube.com and look at our, our YouTube page at School of Trade. And guys, when you see the videos, please take a second to rate and comment on them. Right, I would, we would greatly appreciate your help with that. Let's talk about our trade room totals today. We took 80 bucks out of the market today. We were up at one point about 500. If you guys are with us, we were down by almost 200, and we ended up settling just below 100 bucks here. Brings our weekly total to 1355 and our monthly total for July at 4600. This, of course, is on only a three contract account, and these are all U.S. dollars. Let's talk about term of the day. The term of the day is the trigger line. The trigger line, as you guys know, is a tool that we use, a proprietary indicator that's available to our members only. And the wave indicator and the trigger line look like this on your charts. The green arrow is a long signal. The red arrow down is a short signal. The yellow line is a dynamic level of support and resistance. It's our trigger line. It's always calculating. And ultimately, we have some simple goals. I want to enter the market as close to the trigger line as possible. I want to enter the market when the trigger line has a steep slope to it. I want to avoid the market when the trigger line is flat. And of course, this trigger line acts as support and resistance on a slower time frame. So one of the one of the key components here is that for new traders, being able to understand and identify easily how much risk they have on each trade, that's where this trigger line really comes into play. Because knowing that the further away from the trigger line that your entry is, the more risk you have on the trade, right? Our goal is to enter the market as close to the trigger line as possible. So the farther away we get, the more risk we have on each trade. An easy way for a new trader to identify, is this trade going to be outside of my risk tolerance? Right now, let's remind you guys that the live trade room opens up at 2.45 a.m. We'll show you guys how we use the trigger line live in real time. We'll watch us as we use it. Uh, on our charts across multiple time frames, multiple markets, and guys, it's a great experience. The beginner's course is highly recommended for all your free trial members. Okay, so make sure you download a copy of the beginner's course before you join us tomorrow morning as a free trial member. It's going to be a great fundamental building block for you to join and give you a head start on trading along with us in our live trade room. Now, we'll, the, 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 uh, the trade room is open for trial members and lifetime members, so come join us. We open up at 2.45, so we'll trade the European session and the U.S. session. We'll close up about noontime. We have three jobs. Identify, adjust, and execute. Right? Identify, adjust, and execute. And what I mean by that is we want to identify the news events and the type of market we see. We want to identify, or excuse me, we want to then adjust to those news events and adjust the type of market we see. And then job number three, we want to then execute our trades. We use patience and discipline to wait for the very best high percentage setups. And you'll see how I didn't follow that rule today, and it cost us some money. So let's talk about some of the trades we took. Now, we started off in the crude oil market. Now, crude, we knew that we had a 1030 number coming out this morning. We had a crude number coming out at 1030, so we knew that was something to look for in the future. But at 3 a.m., we opened up. We watched as price began to chop around, and we began to qualify our trades. Now, here just after 3.30, we took a two-step long. This was called live in the room as a high-risk two-step long because of the overhead resistance. We knew it was high risk. I took this trade, got out early at negative two, right? That's two ticks. So, of course, a total of negative six ticks there on that early exit for that small loss. So the first trade of the day was a loss. Now, of course, we don't like to see that happen, but we ended up making our money back a little bit later on in the morning. We then continued here to qualify each trade as we saw them. We looked for a wave short. We looked for a two-step long, back to a two-step short. And as you guys can see, we're always trying to qualify these trades right there live in real time. And ultimately, we do that because we always want to remain engaged in the market. And I know this is going to help you guys learn our method a lot faster if we're doing this with our rules handy, showing you exactly what we're looking for every step of the way. So as you can see, we mark up our charts, we look for every single move, and we tell you why we take them and why we don't take them. Now, our next trade here was taken on the DAX. We made all that money back and some. As you can see, right here at 3 o'clock, price was moving down. We looked for a two-step long. We looked for a wave short. Neither one of those fit our rules because of different reasons. It wasn't until just, just after 4 o'clock this morning, right, just at 4 o'clock, about 4.11, 4.12 here, 
We've got a two-step short. Entry here was at 76 half. We took profit at four ticks, eight ticks, and 18 ticks for a total of 30 ticks on this winner in the DAX. A 15-point winner on the DAX, that's going to put about 600 bucks in your pocket at 35 USD per point. So this two-step short was a definite nice winner for us. We then looked for a wave short, a two-step long. We got back into the market, gave all the money back, of course, right? Once again, had a difficult time today. Today was a pretty tough day. We didn't see a lot of extension. We didn't see a lot of follow-through. We didn't see a lot of conviction on these moves. So where we, where we had enough information to get into the market, we quickly saw that price slow. It died on the table for us. And, of course, we had to exit early on a couple entries here because of that slow price action. Three minutes past 5 o'clock. Another two-step short here. Now, of course, this is at 62 half. We got out early at negative 7 ticks. 7, 14, 21 is your total, so negative 21 ticks. So as you can see here in the DAX, at 4 o'clock, right, at 4 o'clock, we were able to make 30 ticks. At 5 o'clock, we gave 21 of those ticks right back. Still in the green, of course, at this point, but just barely. Now, we kept moving here back to the crude market. And, of course, back to the crude market, we looked for a two-step long here. Now, this particular two-step long here, just after 8 o'clock, I was helping a member answer some questions, and I missed this one. So, very frustrating to miss a trade. And then we missed the second one here, just before 8.30, another two-step long. Missed this one, too. So, at this point, I'm thinking, boy, frustrating. We've missed two winning trades here that would have really put us ahead of the game. Uh, but, of course, I can't change time, right? Can't turn back time. I've got to learn from these mistakes continue to focus on this and our next trade here 846 another two step long once again had a hard time seeing any real conviction here in the market and when i realized here this again was another loss here this is our second loss of the day so we're now one for two one winner two losses still in the green but now this is going to put us in the red 18 ticks here guys 846 two step short I'm sorry, two-step long. We took our stop early at six ticks. Six, 12, 18 is your total loss there, 18 ticks. Now, again, another high-risk entry here. It was called Live in the Room. And after this, after this loss, if you guys recall, we kind of gathered our thoughts, we reviewed our trades, and we ultimately saw that it wasn't so much the market today that was being a pain in the butt. It was more my trading decisions. Right? If you guys recall, the first loss that I took was another high-risk trade. This is the second loss, and this too was a high-risk trade. So it wasn't so much the market that needed to change, it was my trading decisions. So at about 8.45, when I took this second loss here of the day, well, it's clear to see now that I needed to really practice my patience and focus only on the high-probability setups. So we decided to sit on our hands and wait to see this thing after 9.30. So we waited about a half an hour, 9.15 came, right? 9.30 came and we waited for our US Open to pull through. Once the US Open came, we were able to grab a couple more ticks back again on crude, and we finished up our day here on the Russell. Now, once again, we really didn't see that follow through that we wanted to see, right? It was not the follow through that we we're looking for. Okay, this particular trade here, 10.59, a two step long, once again, exited early on slow price action. So what we saw today, what was, what was kind of the story of the day? The story of the day today was ultimately that we saw an initial few ticks to get us into the trade, right? Made us feel all warm and confident about getting into the trade. But then what happened? We saw nobody else, right? The follow through that we saw was very short lived. And if you didn't get in the first couple ticks, you virtually missed the opportunity and it came right back down against us. So one of those days, really battling to make our money here. Right, just before 11 o'clock was our final trade of the morning here, guys, before we broke for our members training on Wednesdays at 11 o'clock. Uh, but here in the Russell, a three-tick loss got out early. At this point, I was very sick and tired of dealing with this one or two-tick up and three or four ticks down. And so at this point, got out early for a small loss at negative one tick, just, just below my entry, for a total of three ticks on this potential losing trade. All right, guys, at the end of the day, we took four losses here and we still ended up in the green. It's a fantastic testament to our methodology. It shows just how effective we are at limiting our risk, at cutting our losses, and letting our winners run. Guys, my name is Joseph James. I hope the videos helped tonight. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning, live trade room, 2.45 a.m. Eastern. We open it up. And I want to remind you guys, a copy of the beginner's course is what you need to come join us if you're joining us for the first time tomorrow. And make sure to check out our YouTube page and rate and comment. YouTube.com forward slash School of Trade. Joseph James signing off for now. Hope it helps, guys. We'll see you next time.